everyone, welcome back to Commando Wolf Gaming. I'm CWG and welcome to SD Gundam Alliance, a game where we span across the universe, gathering all the mobile suits together uh, and as well as Gundam units to go and phase off against other enemies and correct the timeline so they are the correct missions. So uh, in the last episode, I actually got the Gundam Barbados, which is classified as an in-fighter. In-fighter means that it's good at melee combat, not so good at long range combat. So we're actually gonna try Barbados uh, in, because in last episode, we actually uh, tried the Gundam Phoenix, which is classified as a sharpshooter class. So let's get right into the mission here. And it should be this one. So uh, let's go and uh, play. Okay, so I'm actually probably gonna be geeking out a little bit with uh, this episode. Just because I actually like the Gundam Wing universe, it's actually the very first Gundam universe I have watched, or very first uh, series I have watched with Gundams in there. It went and it was on a, like a tsunami, right? And anyway, um, so the unit that Hero Yu, which is actually the main one of the main characters in Gundam Wing, uh, he is pilot, uh, piloting uh, the Gundam Epion, which is actually a later iteration of uh, Gundam units that uh, was brought about uh, for the sake of actually defeating the actual Gundams. It uses actually a system that's called uh, the Zero System, which is actually very toxic to not, uh, not only... Well, it's just pretty much toxic to uh, to the pot. And I say that because it's because it gives uh, the user uh, mon monumental feedback. And uh, it it's kind of like similar to what the Barbados does. And when I say that, it's because in the Barbados, um, they actually physically hook their spinal cord into the uh, unit. And uh, they get a more tactical you know, uh, like a better feedback um, than if they d it didn't use it didn't use that uh, connection, um, and it allows them to uh, perform better and better and better. However, over a dedicated period of time, you can actually get sick and possibly die from it uh, for a long period of time. Like, uh, well, not die. I think you can get sick, and then you would not be able to do like function correctly or something like that. I forget. It's been a while since I've actually played, or I'm not played, but watch uh, Iron Blooded or Orphan. Or Orphan. Bleh. I'm sorry. A little bit of tongue twister today. Uh, I've actually. Uh, I gotta really get back into watching like uh, uh, anime and stuff like that. I used to watch that a lot, but there's a lot. You know, you gotta you spend a significant amount of time watching it. Um, you know, uh, because there's a lot of different series that you gotta catch up on uh, and stuff like that. I kind of want to rewatch Gundam Wing. I actually do believe I still have um, Gundam Wing Endless Waltz uh, laying around on a DVD uh, in in DVD format. Um, and I remember that specifically because that was actually a very very good movie. I was very pleased with watching that so oops. and uh oh god i remember these virgo units are actually pretty tough i think they're classified i think the virgos are classified as sharpshooter units the reason why uh why because they actually have some sh uh, shield generators that were used on the i think it was called gundam mercury right and uh they, they basically like hot had uh, beam rifles um, like the Gundam uh, is, is zero or Gundam uh, I don't think he actually had a name for that uh, unit uh, gun uh, the Gundam one <laughs> in the series because uh, I think uh, yeah I think they I think at one point they captured his unit and copied his beam rifle or like something similar to it they couldn't make it exact 
right? But they made it close enough to get kind of like the same effect going for it. So let's grab this. Boom. Cool. Oop. What? Oh, hey, a Taurus unit. <laughs> I remember the Tor Taurus units. They had like a cool animation where they like transformed into like a flying vehicle, you know. Um, but it was just, uh, yeah, it was mostly used for space combat. Same thing with the Virgos. They were used for space combat as well a lot. The only ones that weren't used were like the Leo and the Ares. Um, and I think there was once another unit that had uh, something different. I, 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 can't, I can't remember off the top of my head, honestly. Uh, I, I'm geeking out a little bit because uh, Gundam Wing was kind of like my jam. I knew like all the uh, all the Gundams. I knew all the characters. Uh, I knew the systems. Uh, I, I like knew it all almost. So, and here comes Gundam Zero. Uh, Wing Zero. Now. Actually, all the Gundams in the Gundam Wing universe are actually based off the, the Wing Zero unit. But nobody could pilot the Wing Zero unit because of the feedback system. It would get people sick. Um, like, very, very sick. Uh, very unhealthy sick. And it, it, it was just terrible. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, come on! I'm gonna try to use my super at the end of this. He's four levels! Level four! Are you kidding me? Now, in this game, I can guarantee that the Wing Zero unit is probably not gonna be it. Oh, okay. The Wing Zero unit is not gonna be, um... Classified as an infighter or an all-arounder, it's going to be classified as a uh, sharpshooter because that's what the Wing Zero unit is all about. It used its heavy beam rifles to do tremendous amount of damage, and it actually had its shield to prevent a lot of the damage as well. So, yep, because that uh, beam rifle was devastating. Come on! Oh god, I'm so close. I gotta, I gotta, I wanna use my special when I get close to it. Okay, good. We're almost there, we're almost there. I gotta be careful. I got no repair kits. Okay, let's try to... There we go. Let's use our special. No! I missed the fire! No! I don't want to use it. God, I don't have any repair kits. <sighs> this this is very disappointing. I miss the firing. Oh no! Okay, well I'm I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna replay this mission and hopefully I can get the firing the second time around um, because I really do want to do I want to do a special to finish off an enemy. I got you. I got it. I got it. I think it... Well, kind of. I think it was almost there. It's fine. I got it. It was a, just a giant hit with a sword. So, okay. I... <laughs> you guys don't know how long it took me to get that. Uh, um, yeah, but it did connect, which I am going to say is good. <laughs> um, I don't... I, but unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be using Barbados anytime. Um, just for the simple fact that 
I don't know. I'm not much of a, much of an infighter. I like to do sharpshooting. I, I like to have like b a balanced characters. So I think I would probably be doing rather the um, you know a balanced or a sharpshooter class. So more as probably the Gundam Phoenix, or maybe it, if we unlock the Gundam uh, Zero unit, uh, most likely we'll use that uh, instead. Um, I'm for so. Uh, as of right now, I'm going to wrap it up um, because I don't think there's much more we can uh, do with here. Got that quick guard on here. Um, I have items. I got like stuff. I don't know what this like. Am I supposed to sell this? And does this give me? Well, that gives me currency. But th does this allow me to buy things? Because it only gives me sell. Right? Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. And... Uh, <laughs> I think I'll leave the, uh, the Barbados up to uh, Mikazuki Ogas, uh, which um, in his little character profile, you can see he uses that unit. So anyhow, I'm going to wrap it up for today. I want to thank everyone for tuning in today here on Command Wolf Gaming. Hope you enjoyed the footage. Did you guys know only about 5% of you are actually subscribed to the channel. That's right. Only about 5% of you are actually subscribed to the channel. So make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below because all the subscriptions do help out the channel. And also hit that bell notification button to be notified on when I'm updating the channel. And uh, anyway, uh, check out my merchandise store. As we can see on here. Ba -ba -da -ba. Oh, what? No. <laughs> there we go. I don't know why that did that because I hit the merch store, not that. Um, on the merchandise store, we actually have some exclusives this month. As you can see, we actually have a long sleeve shirt, short sleeve shirt, which is our standard products, uh, as well as a cap. But for this month, we actually got a long sleeve shirt and a short sleeve shirt with the headless CWG Halloween uh, logo uh, that I use for so my avatar for the month. And it just says, T it's time for Halloween. Ha ha ha. Command Wolf Gaming. Um, so make sure to check that out and uh, pick up your uh, limited edition shirt. Because you're only going to see this for Halloween. And that's it. It will be gone until a whole year from now. So make sure to pick that up. We also have some winter and fall beanies. And I got to tell you, I have always said this in every single episode, and I will continue to say it. everything that I have on this store, I have purchased myself, I have worn, and I have utilized myself. It's all very, very comfortable. And so I do recommend picking it up if you want something that's comfortable as well as warm, and it does help support the channel. Um, now, check out my uh, Odyssey channel. That is ODYSEE.com. Again, that is ODYSEE.com slash at Command Wolf Gaming. And uh, it's just another video uh, streaming platform like YouTube. Um, but there is some stuff that uh, you're not going to have issues with. There's a lot of issues with YouTube that's uh, hidden behind the scenes. Uh, and Odyssey just doesn't have those issues. At least they're not on the forefront from what we know about. Um, anyway, so make sure to check that out. And like I always say, folks, like, subscribe, and share. Spread the love. And I hope to see you next time here on Command Wolf Gaming. Bye-bye now.